Hi there, I'm Carol from Lumix Cameras and in this video I'd like to show you how to use your Lumix camera as a webcam and that will allow you to go from this to this. So let's get started. So the first thing you've got to do is to download the software from our website. To do that you will need to have the serial number of your camera and put that onto the page. You can then follow the instructions to install it onto your computer. It's available for both the Mac and for Windows. Once you've installed your software, it's time to set the camera up. Now this is something you do once and then it's there ready for use. Before we can get into the menu side, we need to do a couple of things to the physical camera. First thing is on the top dial, to put the camera into movie mode. Once you've done that, the second thing you need to do on the back of the camera is to put the dial for autofocus into autofocus continuous. Now I'm showing you this on the back of the G camera, the G9. On the S cameras, it's a very slightly different dial and it just says S and C. Once you've done that, you're then ready to go into the menus. So once you're in the menus by pressing the menu button, we're then going to make a couple of changes just to make sure that the camera is ready. Once we're in the menu, you're going to go to the movie menu tab and you're going to set the exposure mode to P. And you do that just by tapping on the screen and setting P. Once you've done that, you're then going to go into the movie camera mode and in there, you're going to set the record quality. Now here I've set the record quality to 25p full HD. And also you're going to set the continuous AF mode into mode two. Once you've come out of the menu, it's time to go into the quick menu. You press the Q menu button on the back of the camera and we're gonna make a few changes in here. So the Q menu button allows you to make changes to the white balance the auto and the auto ISO. And it looks like this on the back of the G. On the S camera, it looks slightly different, but the, the basic items are the same. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the type of focus menu. It's simplest to set this up into face tracking mode, which will allow the camera to track where you move within the screen and keep it on your face. If you are going to be demonstrating items, then it's probably better to move into either the custom multi and set yourself a nice blob, or the square mode and set yourself a fairly large square so that when you put items up in front of the camera, they will come into focus. Once you've done that, you're going to go into the ISO mode and you're gonna choose auto ISO. And in the menu, in the white balance, you're going to just choose auto white balance generally. Uh, I'm actually going to choose auto white balance warm. Once you've set up these settings, these are the first time that you do it. As you get to know the camera and your environment, you might want to set some of these settings slightly differently. Once you've done the setup, it's time to connect the camera to the computer. It's always best to use the USB cable that came with the camera turn the camera off and then connect the camera to the computer. You can then go into your communication software and choose the camera that you're going to use. To do that, go to your software and one of the cameras that you will see will say Lumix Webcam. That's the camera to choose. Once you've done that, you should then see that your picture looks something like this. Please like this video, that helps Birmingham cameras no end. And please leave comments and questions and we will try to come back to you with answers. Thanks ever so much.